Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about drive-by wire throttle control with our FuelTech Manager software. We're gonna find we have a really simplified drive-by wire throttle control tuning. We're gonna go over a couple things we need to know specifically with our drive-by wire control at idle conditions, as well as setting up and configuring some of the actual drive-by wire settings so we understand how they work, what they mean, so you can get successful results on your vehicles. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with drive-by-wire throttle control using our FuelTech Manager software. Drive-by-wire is going to give us a ton of flexibility in programming how much power output or response we're going to have out of the engine. There's going to be a whole bunch of things we need to know, but the process is relatively straightforward. So we're going to go over the details in this video that you're going to have to be aware of to get it dialed in properly for your vehicle. Now, first and foremost, we're gonna have a accelerator pedal position assembly in the car. We're also gonna have our drive-by-wire or electric throttle body that's gonna be mounted to the engine. Now, typically, we're only gonna have one throttle body on most engines. Some will have two or dual throttle bodies, but we're only gonna have one pedal assembly. Now, on the pedal assembly, we're going to have two throttle position sensors. It's gonna be redundant so that in case one fails, you're gonna have a backup. Now, that's how OEMs wire and set them up we can, we can wire either one or two of the sensors into the fuel tech controller. Typically I wire two just for that backup or redundancy sake, safety sake, with the drive-by wire throttle control. Because if we lose the throttle position sensor, then we're going to lose throttle control and essentially our throttle is gonna go back to idle control or idle speed and it could completely shut down the power the engine's making if we're wide open throttle, let's say. It could be dangerous. So I like to wire both in just so I have a backup. That's how OEMs, again, have designed it. Now on the accelerator pedal position assembly, that's gonna be your gas pedal. When you push on the gas pedal, it's gonna give the fuel tech controller the tracking position of your desired throttle input, so your, your gas pedal input. That's similar to the idea of a cable-driven throttle body where the gas pedal is going to be linkaged to a throttle cable. That's gonna be opening the throttle body up that's gonna happen at a linear rate. We can change that rate of opening with the drive-by wire, so that's one advantage that we have using drive-by wire throttle control. Now, when we look at the actual throttle body itself, the drive-by wire throttle body, we're gonna have a sensor mounted on the throttle body. It's gonna give us the pedal, the, the plate position movement. So uh, we push on the pedal, that's whatever that's going to be, our gas pedal input, zero to 100%, and then our plate will move. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to correlate to the exact movement of our pedal. That's going to be part of the programming process here with the drive-by-wire throttle control. But we have to wire in the throttle position sensor from both the pedal and the throttle body. So it has to know the plate movement. It has to know the actual uh, pedal movement in the vehicle. Then we also have two output control wires. Those are going to be actuating the throttle open or the throttle closed. So we're going to be talking about those as well in this video. Now, in order to start to work with the drive-by-wire throttle control, we need to tell the fuel tech controller that we're actually using a drive-by-wire throttle body before we can even wire anything in. So, first and foremost here, if we drop down our list, go in here to engine settings, if we move down here to pedal throttle, this is going to be where we actually configure some things. So, normally, if we're on a cable-driven throttle body, we'll be here on throttle position sensor as our selection. Um, in the case of having a single drive-by-wire throttle body, we're going to go here to single electric throttle. Now, if we have dual throttle bodies, such as a, some of the Nissan VQ engines had dual throttle bodies, or if we have a V8 with dual throttle bodies, we're going to be se selecting the option dual th electric throttle bodies so it knows when we go into the inputs and outputs that it has those available that we can actually wire in all the necessary sensors and control for dual throttle bodies. In this case, most of the cases, you're gonna be going here for a single electric throttle, so we're just gonna keep things simple for this video. Now, we've gone here and selected it, so if we go into our inputs, it's gonna be allowing us to actually wire in the four inputs that we need uh, from our throttle body. So, throttle body accelerator pedal. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel so make sure you subscribe and click here thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later